Police will soon get new tools to solve crimes and keep people safe. Yeah, TV6's Joshua Blount talked to the police chief about how their three new drones will improve public safety. Rock Island Police are taking their department operations to new heights, adding two drones for outdoor use. Uh, the whole purpose for, for those is just to really just be proactive and keep an eye on things. Now, we also could use it for um, emergency situations such as search and rescue. Uh, what has been uh, often used is for maybe a, a missing child uh, who just happens to sneak out of the house and we need to cover a, a large area quickly or dementia patients. The third will be an indoor drone, which can make all the difference in hostage situations or when suspects barricade themselves in a home. It can break glass to enter in through a, a second floor window. It has the ability to do two-way communication back and forth with a, a suspect if we need to. Um, it has the ability to map interiors. So it has a lot of functions uh, that uh, a, a typical outdoor drone would not have. Even though the tech opens up many possibilities, there are some limits. They can't be weaponized. Uh, they can't be used as listening devices in any way like that. And we can't just have them out there patrolling and, and utilizing them as like a, a patrol officer in the sky. Um, we can't utilize them in, in situations where um, they would uh, be um, in private areas, I want to say, where you know you have to be mindful of privacy concerns. Other departments say drones have already made a big difference tracking suspects on the run. In total darkness, we brought the drone out uh, with infrared capabilities, and we were approximately a mile away from him. And all of a sudden, there he appears in the ditch. He showed up in, in total darkness. He showed up uh, on this device. Uh, showing that he had long hair, showing exactly the, the uh, outline of his uh, person. It was easy to tell he's exactly the person that we were looking for. The Rock Island police say while they are looking forward to the new technology, they can't use them right away. As soon as we get those in, we have to do some training. We have some uh, officers and staff that are going to be trained on how to fly them, but I also have to get licensed through the FAA. Uh, and, and we'll be hopefully up and running here probably within the next few months. In Rock Island, Joshua Blount, TV6 News. The department says the drones will cost about $53,000 and they'll be paid for with federal money.